Hey there, fellow Shutterbugs. Are you ready to dive into the world of cutting-edge camera technology? Well, you're in luck, because today, we're counting down the top 5 cameras of 2024. Number 5, Fujifilm X-T5. In 2024, the Fujifilm X-T5 represents the pinnacle of image technology, with a remarkable blend of cutting-edge capabilities and classic design aspects. Fujifilm, known for its skill in the mirrorless camera market, has upped the bar yet again with the X-T5 claims a sophisticated sensor, likely an updated version of its predecessor, offering exceptional image quality. It excels at capturing the nuances of each scene with to improve low-light performance and flawless color reproduction. The X-T5's advanced CPU offers lightning-fast autofocus, speedy continuous shooting, and smooth overall performance. Photographers may now capture key moments with unprecedented speed and accuracy. The camera has a sophisticated and rapid autofocus mechanism with cutting-edge technology for precise subject tracking and fast focus acquisition. The X-T5 produces excellent results whether capturing quick action or still subjects. The X-T5 provides high-quality 4K video recording. Number 4 Sony A7 IV the Sony 7iV is the best photography camera we've tested. It's a well-rounded hybrid model that falls just short of pro status. It improves on the widely popular Sony 7i Live with a new 33MP sensor that captures highly detailed photographs and allows you to crop and edit freely. Sony's real-time focusing system is likewise impressive, with extremely reliable subject identification and tracking to keep moving subjects in focus. That being said, it is far from a perfect camera. It does have in-body image stabilization, IBIS, although we've seen better stabilization implementations. When shooting uncompressed RAW files, the camera's maximum burst rate reduces to six steps, which is somewhat disappointing for high-level sports or wildlife photography. In that regard, the equivalent Canon EOS R6 Mark II has it beat, with 12 FEPS burst shooting, or up to 40 FEPS in electronic shutter mode. However, the 7iV has an advantage due to the large array of glass available for Sony's E-mount, including plenty of third-party lenses at varying price points. The Sony 7iV is ideal for landscape photography. Its full-frame 33-megapixel sensor captures a remarkable amount of detail and produces clear, appealing photographs right out of the camera. It also allows you to crop your images or generate prints with more freedom. It features a very wide dynamic range in RAW format, allowing it to capture more highlight and shadow detail in busier or higher contrast landscape images. Furthermore, while its high ISO noise performance is slightly inferior than that of some comparable cameras, it nevertheless works admirably in low light circumstances where the ISO must be increased. Unfortunately, it is not the most portable camera for lengthy walks or distant area shooting. The Sony A7iV is an excellent sports and wildlife camera. It's tough and weather resistant, and it has two SD card ports as well as an integrated Ceph Express type of slot for backups during longer shoots. When shooting JPEG, it also boasts a good burst rate of 10 frames per second. If you shoot in uncompressed RAW, it can only shoot at 6 frames per second, which is frustrating if you want to make the most of the camera's sensor for fast moving subjects. The Sony 7iV is an excellent choice for studio video. Unlike its predecessor, it can internally record 10-bit 4-2-2 video, capturing more color information and giving you more to work with in post. It also supports a wide range of log profiles, allowing you to fully utilize the sensor's dynamic range. There are a variety of inputs and outputs available, including a headphone jack, microphone input, and a full-sized HDMI port. The autofocus performance and video quality are excellent, and Sony has substantially improved the menu's ease of use compared to the previous model, allowing you to discover and alter settings more rapidly. When filming video, there is no time limit, and the battery does not overheat even when shooting at the maximum quality settings. While the camera's video battery life could be improved, it does permit use while charging via USB, which is useful for lengthy shooting days. The Sony 7iV is an excellent travel camera. Despite not being the most portable camera, its high-resolution full-frame sensor produces astonishingly clear, high-quality photographs even in low light. In addition, 
the camera boasts an excellent autofocus system that can keep up with targets in a variety of conditions. It feels quite comfortable to shoot with, thanks to its excellent build quality and weather sealing, as well as a plethora of physical controls and customization possibilities. While this camera produces great images, it may be overkill for individuals who merely want a compact camera to carry with them wherever they go. Number 3 Canon EOS R50 If you're on a small budget, the Canon EOS R50 is the ideal camera for photography. It's an excellent pick for beginning photographers due to its simple and intuitive controls and a variety of auto-shooting settings that allow newbie photographers to experiment with various photography techniques. It also features a highly accurate and simple autofocus technology, and it's incredibly portable for vacation or street photography. Unlike the Canon EOS M50 Mark II, which it effectively replaces, the R50 is a good camera to grow with because it uses the same lens mount as full-frame Canons like the Canon EOS R6 Mark II, which means you can use both APS-C and full-frame lenses with it, making it easier to upgrade to a full-frame body later. The Olympus OMD EEM10 Mark IV is another excellent low-cost alternative, particularly if you like the more portable Micro Four Thirds system. There is also a well-established lens lineup. However, its autofocus technology is far less reliable than that of the Canon camera, and the camera is less suited to low-light shooting due to its smaller sensor. The Canon EOS R50 is an excellent choice for trip photography. It's a little and compact camera that's easy to travel with and take with you. It also boasts simple controls and a plethora of auto-shooting options, making it an excellent pick for beginners or those moving up from smartphones. Battery life is likewise decent, but you may need a backup battery for extended days on the road. The Canon R50 is an excellent landscape camera. Its sensor produces excellent image quality for an APS-C model with a rather wide dynamic range and plenty of resolution. The camera is also compact and lightweight, making it a fantastic choice for lengthy hikes. However, it isn't weather sealed, so be cautious on wet days. It isn't as well suited to low light or nighttime landscapes as full frame versions. There is also only one SD card slot, which is inaccessible when using a tripod. The Canon R50 is an excellent video camera because it's compact and lightweight, it's ideal for walk and talk vlogs, particularly if you use a gimbal or tripod grip. Number two, Fujifilm XS10. The Fujifilm XS10 is a crop sensor mirrorless camera. It produces excellent image quality and shoots reasonably sharp, detailed video in both 4K and HD resolutions. However, you may notice some noise while recording in low light conditions. Its in-body image stabilization feature also helps to smooth down camera shake in both still and video photography. It's easy to operate, feels well-made, and boasts a bright, sharp, fully articulated screen as well as a plethora of connectors for connecting peripherals. While its video autofocus ability is excellent, it struggles to retain focus on things when used for still photography. The Fujifilm XS10 is an excellent travel camera, it produces excellent image quality right out of the box, with low noise even at somewhat high ISO levels. The Fujifilm simulation modes can help add flair to your images, however we haven't tested the camera with these modes enabled yet, and you can only use them on JPG files. It has a very wide shutter speed range, allowing you to capture both fast moments and complicated long exposure images. It's also generally comfy to use and appears to be well made. Unfortunately, depending on your shooting habits and settings, its single charge battery life may not be enough for a full day of shooting. Number 1 Sony A6700 The Sony 6700 is the greatest mid-range camera for photographers that we've tested. This hybrid model has a 26MP crop sensor and produces excellent image quality. It's also relatively portable having a tiny form that's easy to transport and an outstanding battery life. Furthermore, it offers one of the best and most dependable autofocus systems on the market with sophisticated subject identification and tracking, not to mention in-body image stabilization and a large variety of native and third-party lenses. Consider the Fujifilm XS20 alternative if you don't want to mess with RAW files as much. Fujifilm is well known for its superior JPEG color science and film emulation profiles, 
Guys, there concludes our top 5 best cameras of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.